On this episode of Feasting on Film, I try my best not to get rejected on the street. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Do you mind if I get a photo of you? I just, you're looking real cool standing here. As per usual, something always goes wrong with the camera. Wait, no, is that the wrong one? Fuck. That's why I'm struggling. God damn it. And you already know, I ate some dope ass food. So we have goat. We have chickpeas and potato, which is chana and chana. Chana, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? I'm going to have you drooling on this one. Let's go. Oh, my God. Today, we're out here in Brixton. This is where I live in London. Brixton reminds me of New York City a lot, and I love Brixton. Energy, diversity, and dope food. So today, we're going to walk around with the Rolly Flex, which is what I'm loading right now, and we're going to get some street portraits. You know, maybe some candid stuff, maybe some post stuff, but nonetheless, I'm excited to just kind of engage with people here on the streets and see what the deal is. So I'm gonna stop talking here because you know I'm struggling. You see me struggling right now. So I'm gonna finish loading this and then we'll pick it back up. Wait, no, is that the wrong one? Fuck. It's just not ideal for my fucking fat fingers. Okay. There we go. Yo, real quick. Yeah, can I get a photo of you? <laughs> I swear it's nothing crazy. I'm just, I'm photographing. I live in Brixton, so I photograph people in the streets and stuff. And you know, you look cool doing your skateboard thing. No, that's good. You gotta practice. I'm practicing too. You know what I'm saying? Um, can you can you sit actually right here? Yeah, just sit on there and hold your board however you feel comfortable. And then, uh, and then yeah, I'm gonna get a little low here. Oh, you already look cool. <laughs> Let me just focus here. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Can I get one more? I'm just gonna back up. I'll get a full, like a, a big wide one. All right, one, two, boom. Thanks, man. You live in Brixton? Yeah, yeah, just on the road. Oh, hell yeah. I'm like over here somewhere down that street. All right, man, thanks. Enjoy your uh, skateboarding. So that was good. We got another skateboarder over there. He's an older guy this time. So and he's looking cool. He's got his vest on and stuff. So I'm gonna go holler at him real quick. Actually, I don't know if he's older, but he's older than that kid. <laughs> Excuse me. I like your look. Do you mind if I get a photo of you? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? So you want to actually, can you sit on this thing right here? This big, like, concrete block? <laughs> yeah, just sit there and chill. And uh, the only thing I ask, if you can keep your face up for me a little bit. No, no, not like, don't look up, but just like, look at me, but just like chin up a little bit like that. Yeah, it's just so that light comes and hits you real nice. All right, I'm shooting on film, so it's kind of slow, but I just got to get a light meter reading here to see. No, it's going to be a little too. All right, here we go. All you got to do is look at that bottom lens. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm going to back up. Perfect. All right. Just put your chin up a little bit. There we go. One, one, two. Oh shit, my bad, hold on. <laughs> All right, here we go, here we go. All right, one, two, boom. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good one, enjoy your skating. <laughs> See ya. All right. The light is moving around a lot now, which is, it's good, we got sun now, but it's all over the place. And I got 400 speed film, so this is gonna be annoying. Less bokeh today, but whatever. All right, let's 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 walk, let's see who else we can find, and then, then we might make stop number one for some food. That's two for two. I feel like it's my lucky day. <laughs> Guarantee you I get rejected a lot coming up. It's gonna happen, no question about it. Skateboarders are usually a good one because skateboarders like, like getting their photo taken. Um, but other people, random people, just kind of doing their thing, don't. So I don't know, we'll see. Excuse me. I like your outfit. Do you mind if I get a photo of you? Yeah? Can we do it in here, actually? Can you just sit inside of the bus station? Do people stop you and say a lot of comments about your style? Because you're killing it right now. All right, uh, can you actually like pose like this? Just hold one hand yeah, and just chill. All right, oh, I got to measure the light here real quick. I'm shooting on film, so it's a little slow. Let's see. All right, here we go. Thank you for stopping, by the way. I appreciate it. 
I'll be as fast as I can. All right, here we go. Actually, you can sit however you feel relaxed. Just do, yeah, I feel like that didn't feel as good. Let me get a little low here. And that is clear, yeah, don't look at me. Just look off to the side a little bit. All right, one, two, boom, that's done. So that was pretty cool. Um, it's always strange approaching women in the street because women get approached all the time. You don't want to be that guy to be bothering women. Like, don't do that. But with photography, I mean, it, I think it's pretty clear that I'm not here doing some photography. So it's all about the energy and, of course, the old school camera. It's hard for people to say no to it. But she was very nice. And I just, you saw her hair. I mean, look at this photo. It's big, beautiful hair and color. It's blue in there, too. So I don't know. I haven't seen this photo right now as I'm telling you this, but I'm really excited to see it. I just hope I got it done on focus. I'm on YouTube too. Actually, Winston, we'll do this. I'll take you. I'll take your info. Can I get a photo of you yeah, after? Yeah, 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 All right, Winston, let's do it. Yeah, yeah. What kind of music you make? Reggae music. Reggae. Yeah. yeah. Here, here. I'm on YouTube right now. What's your name? Winston Harris. Winston. Harris. Harris. Yeah. This is me. That's you. Yeah. I'm gonna subscribe to you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, that's not your channel. No, 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 that's not my here, channel. Here. But come this is your channel. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, subscribe to you. All right, we subscribe. Winston, I want to get a pic of you because I like your outfit too. Thank you. Uh, here, let's let's pose. Uh, actually, I like posing right here in the middle. Yeah, yeah. I'm shooting on film, Winston, so it's a little slow. I gotta I gotta check the light. Yeah, all right, yeah. Let's see. Right here, one thousand. All right, five six. Oh, you got the tape. I'm gonna get up close. Now nah, nah, I like it. Just put it down just a little bit, right there. But close to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you just tilt your face up a little bit? Yes, yeah, perfect. Hold that, Winston. All right. Here we go. One, two, perfect. What's good, Winston? Tell, Yo, tell the people. Big up Ribsy. Follow him on the YouTube, Instagram. That's right. And Facebook. Go yeah. check out my man Winston on YouTube. I put the link in the description. Yeah, and my name is Winston Harris, YouTube, serial channel, SoundCloud. You understand me? So follow me on the link. And That's right. Blessing to all the followers and the fans. Them. You don't know. To the world, I miss serial this. Peace. Yeah, what's up? That was nuts. That's what I love about Brixton. It's just interesting people in the streets doing their thing. And I told you, you carry this thing around, people are going to talk to you. So if you don't like talking to people, don't get a Rolly Flex because you're going to regret it. But this is a perfect time for us to go get some food. So we're going to go into uh, Brixton Village, which is a dope market here in Brixton. They got all kinds of stuff. And we're going to start. Well, we're eating only Jamaican food today, you know, because we're in Brixton. So what the hell else am I going to eat? Yeah, please. Definitely some chili. This is oh. Happy Maze Roti, okay? Damn. So you say we have goat? So we have goat. We have chickpeas and potato, which is chana and chana. Chana, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? So our question, though, is this this is, is this is like a Jamaican fusion or like what's... We, what's, we are Trinidadian. Trinidadian, it's that's proper, why. It's proper roti. Yeah, yeah. Because I grew up on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the last, I mean... 60 years. So you grew, you grew up in Trinidad? I grew up in Trinidad. Yeah, yeah. I'm here 21 years now. Okay, okay. You know, yeah. Dominic, very excited. I haven't had this yet. This is what I grew up with. Yeah, know? yeah. And it's the same, you know. I mean, every you make time. it like you've been eating it your whole life. Yeah, you know, with all the love in it. You can see it. Of course, of yeah. course. I can feel it. Oh, You're giving me the, yeah. the love energy. I like it. <laughs> that, that, you know, that's why you should, you should try it. Oh, I'm, I'm going to try it. You know? So I'm going to wrap it up for you. Yeah, yeah, love. please, please. Yeah? Okay. We'll get your portrait after I'm done eating. That way, I'm all settled. Definitely. Thank okay. you, thank you. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to unwrap this roti. Never had roti before, but I trust her. Look at this thing. This thing looks like a, a giant, it's, it's almost like a burrito meets like a crunch wrap supreme. Actually, the beautiful thing, I'm touching this right now. The texture of this dough is nuts. It feels incredible. It's still stretchy and light, but it's got a nice little coarse kind of graininess to it. This isn't like, you know, some shit you get in the supermarket, some bullshit. All right, I'm gonna hold this out. Oh, actually, they gave me a fork and knife, which I think implies I'm supposed to eat it with the fork and knife. I'm not picking it up like a burrito. Oh man, this is honestly, like this is sleeping food. You eat this and you're gonna be done. All right, check that out. Y'all already saw the inside, but look at how delicious that all looks right there. Big chunks of goat, potato, chana. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna bite into this now. I can't be talking all this smack. I gotta eat. Big old chunk right now. See that? It's 
Mm. That was so good. Ton of curry in there. Like I said, the dough here, so nice and moist, it's delicious. And the goat, tender, tender. Like the great Guy Fieri says, capital T tender. Remember, if you don't fuck with Guy Fieri, just stop watching, unfollow me, don't even bother. Oh man, this is so good. What I love the most about this is that the, the chana, the chickpeas, all the starch from there, from that and the potato, just give the, the inside, the, the stew, this thickness. You know I like thickness. And the stew is so thick, it's delicious. Um, but the spices on here, she put a little chili. You can probably see those little red dots. Spicy, this shit is hitting me hard right now. And I like spicy shit, I can handle my spice. But uh, she got some secret going on in there because I'm hurting right now. Y'all see this? I ate the whole thing. <laughs> um, now that I've eaten that, I'm actually gonna ask her to get a photo. I'm gonna pose her. We've got this incredible light well right near where we're sitting. You can see up there. And basically it's bringing all this soft diffused light down here. So I'm gonna have her sit, I'm gonna pose her and hopefully we get something good. So that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. That's perfect. Here, let me just move this napkin. And this hand looking a little bit. No, no, you look like a chef. It's all good. F2, 160th of a second. Let me, oh, you know what's really cool? We have, uh, there's a bunch of lights behind you and they're gonna look really nice. I, I think you're gonna like this photo a lot. Okay, so you wanna just look at that lens right there, the bottom one. All right, here we go. One, two, boom. I'm gonna do one more. Oh, I said boom. <laughs> no, 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 that one was good. That one was close, it was like, here up. I'm gonna back up and do a full one. All right, can you just look up a little bit, just your chin up, perfect, perfect. All right, here we go. Okay, one, two, perfect. The mask. <laughs> you blocked yourself with the mask. I like that, I like that. Thank you so much. The food, incredible. I think the photo's gonna look fantastic. Do you mind if I get a photo of you? I just, you're looking real cool standing here. You know what, can, we, can, can you lean on uh, right here? And in fact, you don't even have to look at me. You can stay on your phone, but like, if you can just kinda, you know, do your thing. Oh, hell yeah. Here. Let me stand over here. Oh, this is cooler. One, two, perfect. We'll do one more. Okay. We got you here. If you can, then say, you can put that away. I want you to just like lean in here and just look this way. We're gonna get you on some like GQ kinda, you know. <laughs> All right, one, two, Oh, sorry. I gotta wind my film. I always forget to do that. <laughs> All right, here we go. One, two, perfect. Today's been a really nice day. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think we didn't get rejected today, right? Nobody rejected us, which is crazy. To be fair, I only took 12 photos and I had some doubles with people. So that's fine. What I've learned is just don't be scared of asking people for photos. The worst thing that could happen is they say no. That's literally the worst thing that could happen. Well, the worst thing that could happen is they say no and then they try to rob you, but that's probably not gonna happen, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, nah, nah, no one's tried to rob me yet, but it could happen, you never know. But just go ask. And of course, you gotta bring the energy. I was talking to Dolo Photo on the podcast, go check it out, link down there. But basically, he said the same thing. When you go up to people to ask for photos, you gotta bring the right energy. And also, it helps to like, you know, charm them a little bit. You wanna tell them, oh, I like what you're wearing, or you wanna say like, oh, you know, I'm a street photographer doing a project and you just look interesting. You know, do, do, say whatever the hell you want, but be charming. And then like, again, if they say yes, then it's game time. If they say no, you keep it moving and that's it. Don't let the ego get in the way. Cause like, you know, the ego's whatever. And the last trick, I already said this, but bring one of these with you. <laughs> you actually bring a four by five with you, carry that around your neck. Nobody's gonna say no to you, I guarantee it. But then your photo's gonna be trash cause you know, you don't have a tripod, you don't got this, you don't got that, it's not gonna work. But get yourself an antique camera and that is the best way to get people to say yes. Yeah, Matt, because I'm only here literally, uh, we just said for a week. All right. All right, so that was cool. 
I think I nailed my man right here. I was shooting at 200th of a second, which is probably not ideal. You want probably something a little faster, but I pre-focused. We'll see what we got. But we're done with the roll now. That was a roll of Fuji 400H. No more photos left. But now it's time to go to the grand finale. We're gonna go eat some more Jamaican food because you I already told you, you know how it is out here. And uh, we had goat already. Everybody loves goat. Now it's time to eat beef, specifically some oxtail. I hope they have it. If they ran out, I'm gonna be real fucking if, if they did run out, they, I know they got other good shit too. So let's go to Healthy Eaters right now and then I'm gonna show you what the deal is. I don't have a CD player though, sorry. No. I won't be able to play it anywhere. You get recording? Uh, just got my Jamaican meal and I'm fucking excited. There was a line because this food is so good, but we good. I'm gonna tell you what, actually, I already told you what it was, right? I said it's ox All right, whatever. No more surprises. Let's go back to the skate plaza and let's sit there and let's crush this food. Here's our to go package of rice and peas. You ready? You ready? <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God. All this beautiful oxtail, rice and peas. And this is the best part right here. They pour gravy all over the food. You get all the delicious little bits of onion and pepper, all the seasoning, the sauce. This is so good. I'm gonna start with the rice because I just fucking love rice, especially rice and peas. Mm. It's good. <laughs> that little girl was jealous. <laughs> rice and peas is rice and peas. Everybody knows how good that is. Look at this little <clears throat> oxtail lollipop. I love oxtail. So good. Hmm? No, healthy eaters. Right here. I'm a healthy eaters ambassador. <laughs> everybody, y'all can't see this, but everybody walking by right now is staring at me because they're so jealous. <laughs> yeah, from New York. You need an American boy. I'm married already, I'm sorry. But there's some good American boys in London. <laughs> the accent what? The accent alone. Oh, the accent, oh, the accent. <laughs> People tell me all the time, I got a great accent. And I don't believe it. I'm like an American New York accent. That's, that's nice, I don't know. <laughs> I think that the London, oh, there's like 50 London accents. I don't even know. But uh, I like the London accents. American accents, you know, it's whatever. Shout out to all my Americans though, I love y'all. But I'm gonna keep eating this, hold on. Let me describe this one last time. Come in close. So, classic oxtail, you've got the vertebrae in the middle here, that's the bone. And you see in there all those little crags, all that stuff, I mean, all the bone marrow and all the, the little flavor stuff, that is what makes this whole thing taste good. And then of course, everything's tender. I mean, just look at how tender that is. See? And you just, it comes right off. That's proper oxtail right there. Hold on, you know what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna do a slow motion 120p shot, or 120 frames a second. Let's go. I'm a very happy man right now. These are the good things about life. What's up? Uh, great photography today, great food. And it's only what, it's like two o'clock? How do you accomplish all this before three o'clock in the afternoon, you know? I'm blessed, I'm a blessed man. I think we're gonna call it here though. I feel like if I try to get more photos, it's just not gonna be as good. So I'm gonna finish eating this. I hope you all enjoyed watching me hit Brixton, my local, my new hometown, my second home, you know what I'm saying? And I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out. So while I load this Rolly Flex, I'm gonna tell you a little story. Let me pull out my phone actually. It's on Facebook. Somebody was talking smack. And you know, I'm not here for the smack, like it doesn't really make a difference to me, but I don't know, I'm gonna air my thoughts. You know, I got a little video to make today. So somebody writes about a new classic film. It's not my thing, but if paying more for the same film you can get for less is your jam and community tickles your soft parts, then this is probably for you. It's hard to deny the enthusiasm. Hashtag not so new, but a classic, maybe. Okay, I won't read you the rest of the comments because it gets a little you know, wild in there, but Ultimately, I guess my point here is like, if you don't like what new classic is, if you don't like what I'm doing, then don't buy it. 
But I guess it's the internet, and I shouldn't be surprised that people like talking shit, because, you know, it's the internet. Everybody gets a voice for free, potentially even anonymously, so you can say whatever you want. But I will say this. That same person in the comments was talking about, this is bad for the film community, this is counterproductive, blah, blah, blah. All I'm gonna say is, there's a few manufacturers left, right? Theoretically, the more film they make, the better the odds are they stay in business. I feel like that's how business usually works. The more money you can make, the better it is for you. So if they're selling film direct, or they're selling it to me to then sell to you with you know a little bit of my spice on it, some nice packaging, I feel like they don't care, right? They make more money. I get to make a product that, and engage with my fans and my audience and stuff. Who's hurting here? I don't think anybody is. And the other thing is, I'm not scamming anybody. You know I didn't make this emulsion, I didn't coat this plastic myself in my bathroom, so you should assume that this was made by somebody else, and it was, there's no question there. I already told you, European classic manufacturer. That's all I'm gonna give you, because I like the mystery. I like you to pretend to, to kind of dig in and figure out who's what. But at the end of the day, like, you know, I'm not scamming anybody here. New Classic is not a scam. New Classic is me building something for the people that I interact with. And also using my platform to give a voice to people who don't get the voice from some of those other companies. So if that person feels that strongly that my film shouldn't exist or that it's bullshit, you know, I guess I'm gonna let him be. But anyways, back to the video. 